Hi and welcome to the second part of this tutorial series on D3. Uh, in this part we'll explore some of the basic functionality in D3 and that is um, selecting and appending elements to our web page. Um, so yeah, let's start right off the bat. Um, first of all what we want to do is to actually fetch the library or include the library so that we can use it and that is done with a script tag and um, if you haven't used JavaScript before then then I can tell you <laughs> that uh, whenever you use JavaScript you have to include the code between uh, an opening and a close closing uh, script tag so and in this case since we are not uh, we just want to include the whole uh, library we will add this source attribute attribute to our tag and specify the source uh, the location of our, of our library and you can do this either by downloading the the d3 library or you can reference it uh, through an a URL like I'm doing now so let's see uh, d3.js hmm think this is the right address so what I'm doing here is simply uh, letting the browser know where to where to find the library so and the actual d3 code or whenever you're writing JavaScript code like I said just include it between um, script tags and uh, let's begin writing some code so first of all let's try and select an element on our web page uh, as of now we don't we don't really have any elements we just have these well, well the body element and the head element but let's add a paragraph outside uh, the d3 code so this is a paragraph and uh, let's do something to it using d3 first of all when we're writing d3 code the first thing to uh, to note it is that we start by uh, typing out d3 and then simply select which is the name of the select method um, and we specify between brackets and quotes what we want to select so as of now we have selected uh, the paragraph element but we haven't done anything to it so if we head over to the browser and refresh yeah, we we see the uh, paragraph here since we added it using HTML, but uh, this D3 code doesn't really do anything uh, to it. So let's uh, do something to it. I'll use the text uh, method and replace the text uh, within the uh, uh, paragraph tags. So let's say hello world. And we hit refresh and you can see that the text has changed from this is a paragraph to hello world now before I explain uh, how, how this code re actually works let me show you another basic example uh, so let's say we don't have any paragraph elements on, on our web page so I'll remove that and I'll remove this and uh, let's try to add a new paragraph element the way we do this is again uh, typing out d3 and select but this time we select the body and we append something to it and of course we append a, par a paragraph and we need to supply it with some text so that we can see it uh, hi what's up and save and then head over to our browser and refresh and we have a new paragraph element now of course you don't need d3 to perform these basic operations and this is not what d3 was designed to do but uh, it, it provides a good starting point in my view for explaining uh, how d3 works so 
let's review this code. What is this? Uh, first of all, this D3, these two characters. What? Um, so if you have some knowledge about um, JavaScript, you'll understand this uh, easier. But I'm going to try to explain the w what's happening even t even to uh, the rest of you. Uh, D3 actually re refers to something called an object. Uh, an object is simply, well, not simply, but it's it's a uh, complex collection of data. And we can actually take a look at D3 and see, like, inspect it further. And the way we do this is by using something called uh, the console. Uh, the console is uh, provided by the browser, and I'm using Google Chrome, and the way I, I, um, I click up the console is by right-clicking on the page and uh, selecting Inspect Element. If you're using Firefox, then you you can uh, just install the Firebug plugin, and you'll have the same options. And I'm sure there's other uh, alternatives in Safari and the rest of the browsers. Um, so the the first section we're provided with is the Elements section, which is simply it's showing us our the original source code and also the elements that we have dynamo dynamically added to our web page. But the, uh, the section that I want to show you right now is this one called the console. Uh, right now it's empty, but uh, let's try... I'm gonna show you something. Uh, so let's uh, write console log d3 save and refresh and you see that we are provided here with um, well it's maybe look like just a random line um, collection of characters but this is actually uh, the d3 object itself so if we click this little arrow thing uh, we see everything that yeah this is the d3 object and all of these are as you can see functions functions and objects of different sort and um, here in the top you can see that d3 is an object as I said before so I wasn't lying um, yeah this 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 looks complicated and we won't be inspecting the d3 object itself uh, but we'll be using this um, console tool uh, in the future to inspect various things one thing that I want to show you is um, that one of these functions is actually the select function, which you'll remember from our example. We are using the D3 uh, object and one of its inherent methods, which, which is uh, select. And uh, as you can see in the console, uh, yeah, this, this basically shows you the properties of um, well, how the select function works, uh, but we won't go into detail as to what this means because uh, it's quite complicated. But yeah, I hope you get the picture that you can actually review and, is and inspect any element that we're using in D3. And uh, as we move on, you'll be able to understand more and more of what this actually means. So uh, a quick review. Our code here. You know what we're doing. We are we are selecting the body and we're appending a paragraph to it with the text "Hi, what's up?" And in more technical terms, we are um, calling the D3 object. We are using one of its inherent function uh, functions or methods. They are basically synonyms. And uh, within brackets and quotes we are providing it with an argument and this is we are simply stating that we are selecting the body element right and um, this returns a selection which we can do stuff with and uh, we are appending something to the selection so we are appending a paragraph element to the body element kind of straightforward 
and then we can use a, another method called the text method and um, specify what text should be added within the paragraph tags uh, and you you start to see this pattern of every method and object being separated by a dot and this is this is called method chaining and um, yeah this is just um, this is the way we we connect our selections and the method we want to use on them so I hope that's relatively clear um, we'll take a look at some more basic examples in the next video